Hey there, wrestling fans. It's John Pollock here alongside Jimmy Cordera. SummerSlam is coming up this Sunday night from Los Angeles, California at the Staples Center. And this show, Jimmy, it's really been promoted as a, as a two-match show, essentially, in terms of what is really going to be the draw on Sunday. We have CM Punk taking on Brock Lesnar and then John Cena defending the WWE Championship against Daniel Bryan. And let's start with the title match. Triple H inserted as the guest referee. Many different options they can go here, uh, but no secret now, John Cena's elbow is a mess, and it sounds like he's going to need surgery after SummerSlam, and that kind of lends itself to a title change here. Yeah, I, that's what I'm kind of expecting here. I know you said the John Cena thing. It looks like a, a softball on his elbow, which is, you know, really nasty. Uh, Triple H being inserted as a special guest referee. It's not that it's Triple H. I don't think a special guest referee was needed in this match at all. I like the story that it was that was being told. But we have Triple H in the match, which I think means shenanigans will occur. I'm going to go with a different direction here. I think Randy Orton's going to end up cashing in at, before this match is over, I think Triple H gets fed up with both men, lays them both out, calls out oh, Randy Orton, and the, the pinfall happens during the match as opposed to after. And Randy Orton then leaves with the WWE yes. Championship. That is interesting because this title match has been built up kind of with like the A storyline of the fact that Daniel Bryan, he hasn't won the WWE title before. Can he beat John Cena? And then underneath it is everything involving Vince McMahon and Triple H, which I think is somewhat distracted from it because as you allude to with your proposed finish here, with Triple H in there until some angle is shot, I don't know how much the crowd really buys into any finishing spots because you know that some angle is coming here involving Triple H, and I'm with you. I kind of wish that the McMahon stuff had taken a back seat, but that is the long-term plan that they're going with. Right, exactly, and like you said, maybe save it to at least a Survivor Series or something like that. Uh, moving over, Brock Lesnar and CM Punk. We know the, the realities with Brock Lesnar's kind of limited dates. He probably is going to take off after SummerSlam for, for a bit here. Uh, I think that the buildup for this has been tremendous. We've got some great promos from, from both sides. Mm -hmm. We had some great physical angles as well, maybe a little too physical for CM Punk, who's been stitched up twice here in the buildup for this. Uh, but where do you see things going here with Lesnar and Punk? And does this match go on last? Um, that's a good question, but I, I think this match will not go on last. I think Brock Lesnar wins this match, and I think the payoff here is going to be CM Punk getting the GTS on Paul Heyman, and people will still go home happy, especially after Monday Night's Raw with CM Punk standing tall and looking like he can defeat Brock Lesnar. You know, that was a great little video package Lesnar had, you know, I guess. Uh, oh, tremendous. You know, the, the teleprompter works for him, I guess. I don't know, but uh, that was the best I've heard Brock Lesnar, and when he said size does matter, uh, that kind of lent itself to what we saw at the end of Raw, and I, I enjoyed that CM Punk was standing tall, but I don't think he's going to win. Kevin Dunn and his crew were on fire with video packages on Monday night because they mm -hmm. also put one together for Christian, which is kind of like the most emphasis, I think, that this guy has gotten as a singles performer in a long, long time. He's taking on Alberto Del Rio. Some people were surprised they didn't go with Van Damme in that spot, but uh, I think doing a good job on Monday, um, and this is kind of your mid-card world title match, but one that uh, could be a sleeper on the show. Absolutely, and like you said, the video package kind of reminiscent of a, I was almost expecting tell me a lie here. It felt really like a, a, a thank you for everything Christian you're going home but a, a great package. I, you know what I, I see another upset here. I think Christian actually defeats Alberto Del Rio but Damian Sandow comes in and cashes oh. in so we have two cash-ins on the same pay-per-view. First time ever. I don't think it's ever been done nope, or at least two attempts night. not on the same. So I think we have a new world champion, a new WWE champion and and Sandow losing to Cody Rhodes earlier in the pay-per-view lends itself to a lot more possibilities. Look at you with your Booker's cap on today. You came prepared here. Yeah, for, yeah I did my homework. <laughs> possible scenarios coming out of SummerSlam. Okay, so you, you figure Sandow goes over Damian Rhodes. Uh, what do you think in, in terms of Cody Rhodes in this new babyface role? He got that great reaction at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. What have you thought of the follow-up with Cody? I think the mustache has to go. Yeah, that's the only thing. That 70s porn stash does really have to go. It's SummerSlam, it's coming up this Sunday, but that's not the only ma uh, set of matches going on Sunday because Smash Wrestling in Etobicoke, Ontario, 5 p.m. at the E-Zone, Jimmy Corderas is gonna have his first pro wrestling match teaming with Alex Vega against Brent Banks. Go to smash-wrestling.com and next week, we're gonna run down SummerSlam and see if this man survives his first pro wrestling match for Smash Wrestling.